Developing tonight in a story you've been tracking for weeks now for you. Seeking clarification on Colorado Springs law on illegal camping and fires. That was the hot topic today during the City Council's work session. You saw Katie Blaze live outside City Hall. These camps and fires, Katie, causing some real safety concerns for the city. Yeah, Rob, for sure. We've been hearing a lot of stories about homeless people taking over public and private lands. And up until today, a lot of people, even some city council members, had questions about what their rights are in these situations. Well, senior city attorney Frederick Stein and Colorado Springs, Springs Police Chief Pete Carey were able to give some clarifications on this. These so-called warming fires are concerning to some people, so here's what's allowed. Recreational fires, we're talking about those not contained in a permanent fixture, are allowed in Colorado. Colorado Springs. Certain guidelines do have to be followed. The same goes for portable fireplaces and bonfires. For bonfires, you do need a permit. Open burning or ditch burning is not allowed, and of course, burning trash or leaves is also illegal. Now, when it comes to illegal camping, here's what Stein says. For private property, if someone is trespassing, owners have the right to kick that person off their land. They can also call police. The trespasser can be issued a criminal trespass citation. For public land or anything city owned, Stein tells me camping is illegal. Some examples are under bridges or trail systems. Those doing this are given a 24 hour notice to vacate. If they don't leave, they could also be cited. And something else to mention, it is up to the discretion of an officer to remove and cite someone in certain situations, particularly if there are beds available in shelters. The camping issue is again a big concern for a lot of people who tell me it's affecting their neighborhoods. The neighbors upset about the safety because they're finding needles and the human feces in their yard and uh, you know we know the answer is affordable housing but that's going to be years and <laughs> what's going to happen in the meantime. Wilkinson lives near Old Colorado City and says camps in her area are impacting businesses and preventing people from visiting certain areas. And of course, if you see fire or camping violations happening, you are asked to call Colorado Springs Fire Department or the Police Department. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Katie Blaze, News 5.